Hey everybody, welcome to eTrailer.com. I'm Bobby and today we're taking a look at the Swagman XC2 two bike platform rack here today on our 2018 Lexus ES350. Now guys, it's going to be a half decent way of giving yourself a decent little platform to get you and your bikes to wherever you want to go. Now, it's definitely not going to be breaking the bank of course and it is a very simple little model to go ahead and help you guys get your bikes to where you want to go, but it's still going to do a very decent job. I like how these wheels actually sit in your hoops here as you guys can see. It gives a little bit of stability since it's sinking down in there a little bit. Also, we do have our frame out here today, so if you're looking away of transporting your carbon frame bikes, unfortunately, not gonna be a great way to do so, as we do have that frame contact that can end up warping and deteriorating those carbon frame bikes. And if you have any women's bikes, step-through bikes, or kids' bikes, something you have to look out for, too, is gonna be your horizontal purchase here. Now, one thing that's very nice about the XC2, though, it actually has almost this entire length of mass to actually shift down on here, so. You can imagine we could actually get this guy underneath here if we needed to, if we had a step through bike and we're going to have an okay time clamping on that as we do have a very versatile center mass system. And with those varying heights, it makes it really easy to go ahead and actually get your bikes on here how you need to. And speaking about versatility as well, the wheel hoops here actually do move. All we have to do, go lefty loosey here. That's going to allow us to shift these guys around again. That becomes very nice if you have a shorter bike or maybe you need to go ahead and flip your bike around. That way your handlebars can actually start interacting well together. You're going to have that versatility, going to have that um, modularity of the bike rack and be able to move it, which is great for yourself. Gives you just a little bit of versatility, which definitely goes a long way. Well, it does also have a 35 pound bike rating for itself or bike weight capacity limit per bike, which means you're going to have an okay time getting most of your standard and even in your mountain bike range of bikes up on this guy. Now though, again, I will say probably not going to be your best for your fat bike tires or your larger tires. You can see not too much room here on those wheel hoops to go ahead and actually start holding on your tire. So that's definitely something, uh, kind of a caveat I would give it. And um, one thing that kind of stinks about it doesn't tilt away from our vehicle while our bike or our bikes are on here. Now I don't think we're going to have too much issue here today. Uh, I am worried about this back handlebar though. So let me go ahead and see exactly what we're working with here today. And yeah, we are, we would have a uh, contact right there. I'm gonna go ahead and stop that bad boy before it causes any damage. And we'll go ahead and bring itself down. Now what we don't want, of course, is that's making contact, rubbing, making any kind of imperfections there on our paint. Um, so we don't have a way of actually tilting this away. Now the Kurt two bike platform rack is going to put you kind of in the same kind of model, same kind of look, same kind of capacity, and that one actually can tilt away. So if that's something you're really worried about, highly recommend taking a look at that guy. If you're wanting to stay within your kind of uh, price range of what this guy is looking like. Now you can always go ahead and start upgrading your more premium carriers like the Yakima Holdup or any of those guys like the Kuat Envy. However, again, those are going to be way on different sides of what we'd have to be spending to get our bikes where we want to go. So that Kurt can be a nice kind of middle ground if you want that tilt away capability. However, that's going to be the big failing on this guy or the thing that it's missing. Um, maybe other than a security method, you guys can see we don't have a cable lock or anything like that. We would definitely want to go ahead and maybe pick ourselves up one. If you're really worried about your bikes walking away, that can be pretty much necessary. Now, again, though, the Swagman XC2 becomes great for just kind of throwing it on there really quick and then getting your bikes to your destination and getting them right off. Um, so again, not going to be for your um, road trippers, I don't think. Now, it's definitely going to get you there if you need to, um, but you will have to do a little bit of modification with it to really get the whole package with it. Well, to take the bike off doesn't take too much time. I'm just going to go ahead and take off my arms to do so. You simply press right there in that lever. That allows you to go ahead and actually unratchet them, get them out of the way. Now that we do have one last hold here on our bike, I want to make sure it's not tilting into our vehicle or myself to cause any damage. And then again, I press the run on that lever and go ahead and take off my arms. I like to take them off all the way. You don't have to. It just makes it a little bit easier to dismount and mount your bikes, in my opinion. You can see you can just walk it right off and get ready to ride. Now mounting it becomes just as easy. You just simply get it up on there, get it set. And those wheel hoops do a good job, like I said, of kind of giving you a nice little base for those wheels to sit in. So that can be nice for ourselves. Let me go ahead and run these guys down really quick here. Just so we can go ahead and uh, have that look and how we want it. So 
One thing you have to keep in mind with any hitch mounted accessory is we are going to be adding a little bit of length here. So you guys can see now our Lexus, not the longest guy out there, but still not the shortest, right? We're not working on, on a minute cube or anything. So let's go ahead and see exactly what we're working with here. From the rear of our bumper here today to the very end of our carrier, which is going to be right at our hoops, is going to be putting us right about 19 and a quarter inch there from the back. So only about 20 inches going from the back of our vehicle. That's not the worst thing in the world. Unfortunately, we don't have a way of folding it up on itself at all. So we are kind of stuck to this static length. Um, again, that's kind of uh, just the nature of this rack. You know, it's not a premium guy. You're still getting just a nice little stable platform for what it is. Um, one thing we can do though is actually walk up each of our arms. Now, one thing, if you guys did have a hatchback at home, you can drop this center mass. To do that, all we have to do, pull out this little middle pin right here, and that allows our arms to swing down which can be great. Now on the Lexus here today, without our bike there, we're gonna have no trouble getting that hatch open since our handlebars are in the way. But that can be really good, like I said. If you have other vehicles in the family, go ahead and get this guy on there too with no trouble. And that way you can actually get that folded down, that hatch opens, then we get our coolers, helmets, anything we might need. We actually can bring in these sides though to give us a nicer kind of um, footprint here on the back of our vehicle. I'm not going to be taking up too much room, especially just in here. So you guys can see how easy that is. It's just a little pen system that I pull right out. Then I can walk up my arms, get them in position, and there we are, nice and latched. Now here, you're gonna have a little bit of jiggle. These could cause you a, a slight annoyance just when you are driving in this position. Now I don't think a lot of us are, and one thing that's awesome, like we've kind of mentioned before, is how lightweight this guy is. So won't take us much time at all to get it out and in. That can be a nice little solution if you're not liking it stored in this position. But one thing that's awesome about this guy is you can imagine this doesn't take up too much, too much room, right? Gonna be really easy to put this in the garage or maybe a closet. I know a lot of people might be living in the city, living in those apartments, maybe have one of those outdoor closets on um, your balconies or something like that, or even just like a coat closet somewhere. This guy can easily stick inside there. Doesn't take up too much room. And that bottom shank actually can be taken out too. So you can actually reduce that footprint quite a lot, which is a huge advantage, especially if you're comparing it to some of the premium carriers. That can be a huge factor if you don't have the necessary um, room room to actually store your carriers when they're not in use. But uh, moving our way down to the inside here, you guys can see we do have our inch and a quarter shank here today, utilized by our inch and a quarter uh, receiver. On the inside of this, you are seeing just a little retaining clip holding onto our threaded anti-rattle hitch bolt. Now those guys are pretty standard across the industry, but you love to see them as they're bringing it all in line to one system, making for a nicer, smoother ride. As you guys are going to see, as I shake this, it's shaking the entirety of the Lexus. That means it's all in line with one system, like we said, make for a nice smooth ride for ourselves, our back rack, but especially our bikes. Now, the one thing we do need to go ahead and get though, guys, before I get is gonna be our clearance. So let me go ahead and drop this arm down really quick just to give us that. Now, the one thing I would look out for too here, if you do have a bike in this first position, your wheels might be hanging a little low. So let's go ahead and see from our wheel hoops here today, to the ground is going to put you about 12 and three quarters of an inch. So I would go ahead and just call it 12 inches there as you might have about three quarters or maybe a full inch of wheel sticking down. Now be very careful as those front wheels go up, the back will go down and so will your hitch mounted accessory. So if you find yourself approaching a very steep incline with your bikes loaded up, I'd definitely be a little careful. The Lexus sits already a little low as you can imagine on a sedan. Um, I doubt any of us are taking this off-roading so that won't be too much of an issue for us, but definitely something to look out for. Like we said, if you are approaching some steep terrain. Well, guys, uh, this Swagman XC2, again, becomes just a nice little model. Me, myself, I could see myself pe picking this up. I do want to get into biking a little bit more coming up uh, next spring, so this is definitely going to be one of my first looks to, to go for it. Now, I don't have a crazy expensive bike. Uh, if you guys were to kind of really be worried about your bike, um, yes, it's going to be a nice stable platform. However, you only have one hold on there, and it's a frame mount. So uh, if you're really looking for a better hold um, and maybe a nicer hold that's not going to be making frame contact, definitely going to have to look at more of your premium carriers. But like I said, if you don't want to go ahead get yourself maybe a couple buddies or two to get down to the trail every so often this can be a great little way of not breaking the bank and getting you to your destination well guys i think that that about does it for our look at the swagman xc2 here today on our 2018 lexus es 350 i'm bobby thank you for watching this is our test course let's start with the slalom this shows side to side action such as turning corners or evasive maneuvering then onto our alternating speed bumps. 
This shows twisting action, such as hitting curbs, potholes, road debris, or even uneven pavement. Last of all, the solid speed bumps. This shows up and down action, such as driving through a parking lot or parking garage, or driving in and out of a driveway.